screwed up to a certain extent. They were all really nice, the type of people that would, if you messed with them, they'd kill you. And the police, even back then, knew pulling over old vets and stuff is incredibly dangerous. People that have just served a couple tours because they just are not going to be pushed around. And that's the issue. You put people in hardcore stress and combat, they're going to get what they call PTSD. And you keep them in combat, you put them on these drugs, and this is a way to discredit the military, folks. They're now going to put them all on drugs, monitor them all, take all the military personnel's rights away, out of hand, give them, quote, anti-stress vaccines. They're announcing that literally destroy parts of the brain associated with aggression, but also with endorphins and enjoyment and, and religious experiences. This is how, you know, they come in and federalize the media and have it tell lies for decades and discredit it. It, it implodes. They come out with pure state-run media after that, run by the government completely. They militarize and federalize the police. Then the police act like, you know, murderers. The feds come in and fully federalize when they've trained them how to act like that. And it's the same thing with the drugging. And, and, the, and the, I mean, the average military people I know in the Marines or the Army have served five tours in combat. I have family that has served over 20 tours, 30 years in the U.S. Army, 20 tours in combat in Africa and South America and Central America and Asia and uh, in the Dominican Republic and in the Middle East and Afghanistan and Iraq. I mean, there's a bunch of people. I got cousins that are, that are 50 years old, folks, 51. I mean, that have been in 20, 20 combat tours, 20. I was just thinking, what do you mean 10 tours? I was on the plane back from Las Vegas taping uh, TV shows with Ventura a few years ago. And there was a, a senior um, non-commissioned officer g going to take a, a guy that got killed by an IED, an Air Force MP. He was an Air Force MP. And we got there. The cops were all there with the draped coffin and the big parade and everything out to Fort Hood. Uh, but the point was, is I talked to him for three hours flying back from Vegas. And he had been in, since 9-11, and that was two years ago, he'd been in eight combat tours with only basically one year off himself being IED'd and shot at all over the world you know the point is he was pretty normal and pretty nice the the issue is most people would be completely screwed up from that and that's what I'm talking about ladies and gentlemen is my you know my cousin who's been in 20 combat tours because I asked him I said how many oh about you know 20 of those 30 years have been combat tours uh, I mean that that's just unheard of folks Roman centurions didn't go for more than 10 years and by the by the tenth year, you can read the history. They were most of them complete murdering maniacs. I mean, if you didn't follow discipline in the Roman centurions, they would get around and kill you, just right there at the base. This this is this is a total abuse of the American people and of the American volunteer military, and it's being done to ruin it and wreck it like a car. You never change the shocks on. You never change the oil on. It's so evil. And then they put them on drugs that the inserts say will make you into a homicidal murdering killer. Let's go to part of the press conference with our reporters. This is up on Infowars.com. Army admits Fort Hood shooter was on psychotropic drugs. Was on psychiatric drugs. How much indication do you have about premeditation here? Was, was there anything tied to the timing of it? Was there something going on in the building? Uh, I do not know. That'll be part of the investigation. I did not say his rank nor his name, and I'll do that when his family is appropriately notified. Sir, you said he came from another installation in February. Can you tell us which one that is? Um, at this time, uh, I prefer not. He was undergoing uh, behavioral health and psychiatric treatment uh, for depression uh, and anxiety. There are reports. Uh, I don't know if he was diagnosed in the clinical sense. There are reports that he uh, self-reported uh, a uh, traumatic brain injury previously coming back from the Iraq. Was he on any sort of medications? He was on medications, that's correct. Like SSRIs or antidepressants, anything of that nature? Yes. Was the uh, FBI already on the scene due to the uh, alert that they gave out about on Monday regarding a possible mass shooting? Uh, we have a uh, local FBI liaison officer. Okay. Uh, but no, large FBI you know, assets were not here. Okay. Um, uh, they are actually inbound to help with the investigation. All of the wounded and killed were military. General, the female officer who engaged him, how would you describe what she did today? So it's clearly heroic, uh, what she did uh, at that moment in time, and, and uh, she did her job, 
and she did exactly what we would expect of the United States Army Military Police. What are your thoughts on Colonel Perry concealed weapons? You're not allowed to carry concealed weapons. Do you think that should change? Um, no, I don't think the soldiers should have concealed weapons on board. We have law enforcement agents. Uh, we're trained professionals, and I, and I don't endorse carrying. How long did it take weapons. for the law enforcement to reach the scene? Uh, it was within minutes. Within minutes. The exact time, probably 10 to 15, maybe. So Max. you're saying that we should have concealed weapons, but it still takes 10 to 15 minutes for law enforcement to even reach the scene? What's your comments on that? I think the law enforcement acted very rapidly uh, and swiftly. Given the nature of this circumstance, I understand that, but there's still people yeah, that have died. I'm not going to get in a debate uh, with you on carrying weapons on a military installation. I just ask for all your thoughts and prayers uh, for the fallen and for the wounded in this particular case. Thank you very much. General. General. I know it over all years. All right, this is video of our reporters walking around. The FBI saying that there was a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood shooting. It's a Fort Hood situation. Yeah, yeah, there's no, there's no link that we know of to that particular case. Well, we're going to come back and play that last part again. That's Shikari Jackson going up and following the general to his car like a real reporter. Uh, did you know Emergency Essentials has a lowest price promise on all of their long-term food storage and emergency supplies this month? While supplies last, save over $250 on the year supply of basics, a year supply of food for only $769.99. Get House Gourmet Entrees Combo, 52% off freeze-dried tomatoes, and 57% off freeze-dried shrimp. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Do you really know how pure your water is? It's taken for granted that bottled water and even home-filtered water is pure. But it is not the purest water you can drink. There is only one way to get the purest water, and that's with a new appliance that no healthy kitchen should be without, an H2O Labs countertop home water system. Go to h2olabs.com to order yours now, and you will be drinking the purest water you've ever had, guaranteed. Go to h2olabs.com. That's h2olabs.com. What I'm about to tell you is based on information obtained from a little-known government document called FT900. This bombshell government document contains evidence on what I believe will cause the next 9-11. I've just posted a video at www.next911exposed2.com that not only analyzes the contents of this document, but it walks you through the exact timeline of how and when this 9-11 event is scheduled to occur. Just like 9-11 had a lasting impact on our society, this event will reshape America. It will swipe trillions off markets and retirement accounts everywhere and destroy the way of life of millions of unprepared Americans. But it will also trigger what promises to be the biggest wealth transfer in the history of our nation. But you only have a few weeks left to take all the necessary steps to protect yourself and your family. Just visit www.next911exposed2.com to view my newly released video. Again, that's www.next911exposed2.com before it's too late. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Listeners of GCN know governments and identity thieves around the world are illegally spying on our digital data. This puts you at risk of financial loss or potential targeting because of your political affiliation or spiritual beliefs. But now there's a new, free, and easy way to protect yourself. Regain your privacy and security now with Unseen. Unseen is a free digital communication service that offers email, chat, audio, and video calling, plus cloud storage. All secured with unparalleled encryption and is hosted in Iceland, where your data is protected by some of the strongest privacy laws in the world. 
world. For a limited time, GCN listeners get a 20% discount when upgrading to Unseen's premium service, which offers more storage and even greater security. Plus, get huge discounts when you buy multiple premium accounts. Perfect for your family, Bible study, political action group, or business. This isn't just your average radio ad. This is a call to action. You now have the power at your fingertips to stop Big Brother in his tracks. So why wait? Go to unseennow.com and take action today. That's unseennow.com. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. You go to DrudgeReport.com. It's got the most complete coverage of what's really going on at Fort Hood. War comes home. Another shooting at Fort Hood. Update, four dead, including gunmen. ID'd as Ivan Lopez. Mental health issues was being treated. Uh, depression, anxiety, prescribed Ambien, bare minimum. Connection between violence and SSRIs. Medication emerges yet again. Facebook page tribute to heavy metal band. GOP rep troops should be armed on base. I agree with that. At least people that have been in a few years. I mean, they could have a test you take or, you know, some type of certification and, and then just maybe get 10% of them armed at least. I, I don't know about brand new people at boot camp with guns. You don't want that. You get a full metal jacket type scenario. And that stuff happens. GOP rep troops should be armed on base. Uh, epidemic, at least 22 veterans commit suicide each day. That's over seven times any previous record after the Vietnam War in 1975. It is total stress disorder. And they're using it to demonize all vets, including the victims, of being put in there. And people say, oh, well, you volunteered. And clearly, some people get in the military and get addicted to the culture, and it's all they know, and they stay in. And some people can handle it, like my cousin. Uh, but most people cannot handle four, five, six combat terrors. You certainly can't handle 10 or 20. I mean, that's that's literally over-the-top cartoon book level. But that's the type of stuff that's going on. And, you know, a lot of the reason we had 1776 was because of the French and Indian War that killed hundreds of thousands and was a vicious guerrilla war with the colonies against the French and large groups of natives. And that's why when the British regulars who a lot of them were snot noses and hadn't been in a lot of combat, came into the colony, started pushing the veterans around, 1776 happened. And I'm telling you, this Homeland Security demonization of the military, after abusing them and after putting them through all this, and now they're moving to take their pension funds and stuff like that, that's why the Pentagon says the number one threat and, and, the, and, the, and the Homeland Security is the vets, because you're starting a fight with them. This has happened over and over again in history. And it's not going to end well unless the system backs off right now. All these crazy people like Joe Biden with no connection to reality, all these con artists, all these PR firms, your BS is going to end. Your Obamacare, all of it. You fools run the country. You're in power already. Why do you have an instinct to gut anyone who's honorable? Because you have a criminal instinct to hurt good guys. You have a criminal instinct to eradicate anything decent. When it's, it's the decent system of checks and balances that has allowed you to even exist. Now, you heard Jakari Jackson and Kit Daniels are coming in the next segment. Ask the real questions. Was he on psychotropic drugs? Was he on issued drugs? Yes was the answer. Drugs. That article's up on DrudgeReport.com. Red linked. Connection between violence and SSRIs. Medication emerges yet again. Infowars.com. Exclusive. And again, I'm not tooting our horn. Why didn't the hundreds, it looks like over 100 reporters when you see wide shots of the raw video. I mean, there's got to be 20 or 30 flags up there, you know, microphones. And the guys did a great job. Next time we need the remote kit, which I know we have with the microphone and the cord and our guys, you know, but they got out there with handheld cameras and got the job done in the middle of the night. Next time we need to have those kits ready for no no pun intended for Kit and, and Jakari to have those kits for all our reporters to be able to go to those press conferences and get really good audio. But I give them an A-plus for initiative and questions. So great job to the reporters. Absolutely kick butt here at InfoWars. Let's go back to the end of that video that's up on Drudge where Jakari follows the general to his car. 
That's what a real reporter does as he continues to ask questions. Excuse me, General. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a 